Hello friends, if you are a SAP business objects developer having some years of experience and if you feel you are getting stuck or you don't know where to go means what are the technologies which we can learn or from where we can try to understand means what are the opportunities which are available for the business objects. From the last few months I have, I have been observed that many of the organizations have stopped hiring for just business objects developer because uh, they are at least expecting uh, that you know SAP Antics Cloud as an additional tool and uh, along with the business objects. So that is something which is they are expecting. Uh, but the thing is uh, many of the business objects developer who are right now working with the business objects uh, have found that they don't have the uh, that expertise in SAP Antics Cloud or they don't get an opportunity to work in SAP Antics Cloud. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to tell you Miss, what are the things which we can learn apart from business objects, whether uh, business objects has a really market in the future, what should business objects developers should do, what are the things which we should additionally apart from the business objects or any other tool uh, so that we will have more opportunities in future and uh, we do have some security uh, about our job as well. So that is something which is I'm going to discuss uh, here. What are the things which I know uh, personally uh, from my learnings uh, and uh, because I have also worked as a business objects uh, for many years now. And uh, so I wanted to just let you know that means what we can do so that we will be more visible to the market or we will have more opportunities available uh, in the market. So that is something which is I'm going to share here. Uh, so let's try to see one by one this. The very first thing is we need to find out where we are right now. If you are having just three years of experience as a business objects developer, or you may have some six to seven years of business objects developer, or some of may have a 10 years of business objects experience as well. I personally know who has experience around 10 years or 12 years in business objects, and now they feel that they are stuck for business objects and they don't know means where to go. The problem is. Uh, the only op uh, option we see as a SAP a practitioner that we generally try to see what is the latest in SAP. And uh, that is nothing but SAP Antics Cloud is the latest uh, visualizations tool. And most of the things uh, which we try to do is we try to just go for SAP Antics Cloud. But the problem is uh, what is happening for the right now for the people who are having 10 years of experience in the business objects, uh, they don't have that coding experience or they do, are not interested to work in uh, biz, uh, coding. Uh, so as you know, in, when if you are going to work for SAP Antics Cloud, um, 30 to 40% of uh, part I feel means we need some scripting or we need some coding uh, to be done because uh, the story development and other things are like drag and drop is fine means many people can do it. But when it comes to advanced application development, like it's uh, when it comes to Antics Designer, it is happening like that means you uh, uh, are not having that uh, knowledge in the scripting or you are not interested uh, to work in that scripting and it is really tough to learn that uh, scripting as well because there is no such uh, material from SAP as well about this uh, scripting thing. So that's a challenge for many of us uh, which we are facing. This is one thing which is we need to uh, see that we are uh, at this stage because what's happening for business objects, we are not getting any calls because the market for business objects is not that good. You will find some job but not very premium. Like uh, you can see means you uh, you will get jobs sometimes means uh, but but they will not pay you as much as you you are deserving. And that is what is right now is happening. So what uh, we need to do is we need to move out of this business objects because that's what I feel means uh, just staying with the business objects. Uh, it is not going to help you uh, in the longer run. And those people who just wanted to stay in a technical area and don't want to go in a management area, then for them, it is going to be very tough as a business objects developer if you are going to stay with the business objects. So we need to be very cautious about what we are learning and where we are going because this is the what it will help us to get some opportunities. So what we can do?
right now many of the folks from the business objects have already learned some tool like visualization tool uh, lumira designer is one tool then sap antics cloud is another tool uh, then um, some of the planning related stuff in sap antics cloud but however what happens like for sap antics cloud uh, many of the organization doesn't have that many projects for ssc uh, very limited projects but still they have some opportunities uh, so people have learned sap antics cloud uh, they have certified in it but uh, when it comes to actual work experience uh, they have not got uh, got that much experience so there also people feels uh, low confident uh, when they are appearing for new jobs so that is something which is uh, also a challenge and uh, someone don't want to work in sap antics uh, designer which is a programming uh, thing uh, again and uh, that is something which is again a challenge for many of them so they are trying to see other opportunities so maybe someone is trying to learn microsoft power bi so this is another tool uh, which is also in a market and it does have good opportunities but however it again have some programming uh, at advanced level so you have that dax uh, programming or DAX coding which needed and you have some custom visual programming as well if required. So if you wanted to going to be expert in that tool, then you need to know that coding as well. So that is one thing which is again, some people are learning uh, Tableau, ClickSense, uh, many different technologies, but uh, you, the problem is if you are just staying for just reporting tool, then we have limited opportunities. If we are not getting more opportunities, more calls, uh, and we are limited for growth. We need to find more tools or more opportunities apart from SAP BI or maybe uh, just um, uh, not just for Microsoft BI, we need to go beyond that as well or beyond reporting. I would say just go beyond reporting. Don't think just a reporting area. Think beyond reporting. So what are the things which we can uh, try to see apart from reporting? Let's try to see. So very first thing is what we can do is whatever experience we are having right now in SAP business objects or whatever the just try to see means what are the things which you have worked uh, from start start uh, starting of your career to till now what are the tools you have worked so that is one thing which is you need to analyze yourself try to see the broader picture end to end picture of your current uh, system or current projects so that is one thing which is we need to understand when it comes to end to end uh, structure or end to end project life cycle we can say where we need to find out means from where the data is coming so what are the databases involved what are the database sources are there then where how it is processed so when it comes to processing then we need to understand what are the etl technologies which we have uh, used or what are the ETL technologies which are being used then it comes to uh, databases like uh, maybe it is a SAP HANA database or if it is a SQL or a Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server any relational database as well so that is also you can consider and then once the database is there then we need to understand the reporting so the reporting is one thing where we actually build our reports and then front end we do have this visualization or antics uh, section where we build visualizations or different different dashboards so that is this is a complete overall uh, end to end picture we can uh, consider however now uh, we are uh, not going to see just a reporting section we wanted to learn other technologies like as well so now other technologies we need to understand the uh, data base which is a sql server oracle or any relational database or any sap hana bw these are the things which we can try to explore as well having that knowledge will be going to helpful so etl is another area where we need to focus more because atl is something which is a sap business objects data services is another in sap where you can try to explore that as well because this will going to be helpful uh, for um, for increasing your value as a SAP practitioner because what happens, uh, BOD is also having a good market. There are other ETL tools like uh, SQL Server uh, integration services from Microsoft. We do have some Pentaho from Itachi. Then, then these are the, some of the tools which uh, we can learn that as well. Um, then reporting is fine, means you, you have knowledge of business objects, you can learn uh, Microsoft Power BI as an overall, but we need to understand the other pictures so that is something which is we can uh, try to explore and apart from this as well i would say try to learn the new demanding technologies like the first one is snowflake 
Snowflake is very good technology uh, in terms of uh, data warehousing and reporting and business intelligence antics platform. So it's a very powerful technology, which is has grown uh, very fast from last two, three years, and it is having very good market and it is going to be very uh, demanding in the future as well because of its processing power and the operations is performing uh, very quickly. So that is something which is going to be very helpful. If you try to learn this tool as well, it is going to be helpful for you in a longer run. So I would suggest learn this tool, uh, try to explore what, uh, if you are finding it comfortable to learn it, if you just know SQL or relational database queries and if, uh, as a business objects developer, you must be knowing queries. So don't worry about that. You can go into this tool, if try, to, uh, try to learn this. You will be finding it easy to learn it. And then maybe try to find some stretch assignment or some uh, uh, do some certification, which will enhance your uh, skill in this Snowflake. Snowflake is a very good opportunity for everyone else. I'm also learning it right now, and I I'm planning to share some of the uh, videos on slow, uh, Snowflake as well uh, here uh, in the next coming weeks. Uh, so that is something which is I'm going to try it. So Snowflake is another uh, is one tool. The other tool is Altrix. Altrix is another Antix designer uh, Antrix platform, which uh, which is very helpful, uh, which is very powerful, and it does have some uh, advanced uh, technologies which are available. So that also you can uh, try to learn. Uh, so these are the things which uh, are there. You can try to explore that as well. And if you are getting more comfortable, if you find it more easy to learn it, and uh, if you find it interesting, then just go to that tool only or try to become an expert in that tool only and once you are learned then just try to find some stretch assignment your current organization try to find wherever their opportunities are there and then um, look for the opportunities in that but just try to get out of uh, business objects uh, the other way is uh, learning sap antics cloud uh, sap antics cloud is another uh, good thing uh, to learn because that is a uh, like way path forward for uh, SAP and they wanted to promote this tool only everywhere. So in the longer run also, it will be going to helpful, but it will have some coding there as well, which you need to learn. And for coding, it is not that difficult, but we need to learn it. Uh, so JavaScript is a base for it. Uh, I'm just giving some links uh, in the video description to learn uh, JavaScript as well, uh, so that uh, it, it, it it will be helpful for you to get started with the SAP Antics Cloud. So if you wanted to stay in the SAP Antics Cloud, I would prefer uh, go for SAP Antics planning uh, section. So that is very uh, demanding and that have some uh, more uh, advantage uh, than uh, um, than just a basic uh, SSE. So try to learn that uh, SSE planning as well. So these are the things which you can uh, try to uh, learn. And uh, if you wanted to explore some other technologies like cloud, uh, so because Snow Snowflake uh, is a cloud technology only, and uh, if you try to learn that, then that is going to be boost your career for sure. So just try to learn that Snowflake. If you wanted to explore other technologies like uh, cloud technologies, uh, you can explore Amazon Web Services, AWS Cloud, uh, do some certification. Recently, I have completed one practice cloud practitioner from AWS certification. Uh, just I wanted to uh, improve my cloud technologies knowledge, so I did it. Uh, you have other approach options from Microsoft Azure Cloud is there. There are also opportunities. Uh, you have Google Cloud that also you can try to learn it. And then uh, you have uh, something which is um, uh, IBM Cloud as well, so which is available here. So try to learn that as well. Uh, so th these are the cloud technology also you can explore. And if you feel that um, these technologies are also uh, interesting to you and you like to work in that technology, then learn it and become expert in it uh, by just doing some certification, try to uh, work, try to find some stretch assignments. <clears throat> so putting it together, uh, I just wanted to say that Try to see end-to-end -end picture, look beyond uh, business objects. Uh, I don't see that much opportunities in business objects. You will have some limited opportunities, uh, limited growth as well. You will not get that high end, uh, high uh, salary packages for this uh, SAP business objects only. You need to find uh, something more interesting, uh, more broader perspective. So I would say learn any of the ETL technology or maybe uh, Snowflake is another cloud technology which you can learn and try to explore there and try to find some opportunities it will be helpful for you if you wanted to go stay in a SAP area only then learn SAP Antis cloud data warehouse cloud data integrator that is something which is we can try to explore uh, try to learn SAP HANA as well because that is going to be helpful 
uh, have some understanding of sap bw as well because having all this knowledge is much uh, much more needed when it comes to be a sap bi developer so that is something which is we wanted to understand and just finally i wanted to uh, say that uh, don't worry about uh, anything like get just get out of your comfort zone so this is important uh, because not every technology will remain forever technologies is uh, technologies are changing and ev every now there are new technologies coming so just keep learning now also if i wanted to share my story means i started with the java technology as my pro profession and then i had to move to uh, bi technologies i have worked on uh, other you know, bi technologies moved to sap business objects work from sap business objects i have worked on other detail tool technologies as well uh, so that has been just uh, changing technologies and uh, learning new things is what I means we need to do so it will just help us to grow more much more so just try to uh, see, see uh, in that perspective as well uh, just don't worry about uh, your uh, previous work experience so that is important to understand like I means suppose what happens like means we uh, just think that means how done uh, this work for last 6 years or maybe like 10 years and how i can move to some new technology whether i will be able to do it or not just don't worry about go for it uh, you will learn you will actually succeed or fail but if whatever the result you are going to get some experience that is going to be helpful for you in the coming years and don't worry that uh, if you wanted to going to change uh, completely uh, to new technology as well suppose i'm saying just move from sap to snowflake uh, then don't worry that means uh, you have so many years of experience in sap and now we are going to change it to some different technology don't worry about that just uh, see a broader picture wherever you see opportunities try to go for that and just try don't stop learning because that is going to be helpful for you to grow in your career so that is what something which is we need to understand uh, sometimes what happens means uh, if we we'll try to learn one technology uh, we don't feel it comfortable like means i don't like it means sup suppose uh, i've started learning snowflake and i don't get it comfortable then also not fine means just leave it uh, try to explore some other technology and then uh, likewise means whichever you feel comfortable whichever you feel interested then go for that technology and try to become an expert in that so that it you will have more opportunities than other there are some links which i have provided in this video description where where you can learn a snowflake where you can learn some etl technologies where you can learn javascript so just to help you i have uh, put it down some good courses from udemy.com which is going to be uh, helpful for you just try to see that as well so that's it from this. Uh, if you have any questions, I would like to know from you what are the other opportunities uh, uh, we can look as a business objects developer. So uh, apart from uh, whatever options I have told, uh, what are the other things which we can learn and uh, which will have more opportunities for ourselves uh, in the market. So just try to put in comment section as well. And I wanted to know from you because you also have some experience in this uh, IT industry for so many years. And just try to uh, let me know your inputs as well, because that is going to help uh, other people as well. I hope whatever the points which I have told here, um, it makes some sense. And uh, I uh, hope uh, you get more opportunities to learn, more opportunities to grow.